if you go back to my blog uh, about three years ago, September of 2015, you'll find an article called How to Visualize Only Every Nth Data Point in Tableau. So it takes a high density uh, line like this and it allows you to break those points out uh, every nth data point. And it's pretty easily accomplished with this highlighted keeper formulation right here where you use an index, um, a parameter called keeper, and a modulus operator. So we, there's a little video here to show you how to do it, but I'm going to show you now an extension of this method for labeling every nth uh, label. So <clears throat> if if we start with the problem looking like this, where we have um, every data point labeled along this line, there's just too many points for me. I don't like it as much. So what I would really like to do is be able to change that to um, show me every second data point or even every third data point. So I'm just changing the parameter to go from every second or every third. It's fairly easy to do. Just change the parameter, you get a different number of labels along the line. You don't have to manually select them, they're just uh, shown. How do I make that happen? Well, the way that that happens is I use uh, the keeper formulation in combination with a new um, essentially calculated field for the, the label itself. So if I show you what that looks like, it's going to um, be pretty straightforward. It just basically says if the keeper is zero then show this label. That label that's being shown here is the calculation of the running total coming off the right hand axis. How did I get the the running sum of that? Well I just built it first of all but then I went up into the into the shelf uh, for for that field <clears throat> and I edited it in the shelf, copied it down, put it into that if block. So once I have that then, I, I pretty much have the functionality that I want. But what I wanted to show you too is that because you have the keeper formulation built in here, if you have the keeper uh, as a filter and you say begin to change it, uh, so you want to label say for example every second, every second data point then what you can do is you can change your keeper settings to show every second bar that corresponds to those data points if you want. Or you can go to every third like this if you wanted to. Of course you could change your bin settings to do this too, but if you wanted to create some space in between your histogram bars you could do it this way. So this gives you the flexibility of um, not only changing your label density but also changing the density of your bars. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show today. Thanks for listening.